Hi, I'm uh, Johan from Oxdrive and I'm going to show you today how to use your Tesla. When you open the app, what you can see here is a map of all of the world. Um, and zoom in a little bit, uh, you see in the green area here, this is the zone uh, where you can pick up and drop off your car. So you can see that currently we have uh, kind of most of Riga covered as well as uh, part of Jurmala. So these are the parts uh, or places where you can pick up your car and drop it off. And uh, you should pay attention that in the, inside Riga, for example, there are certain zones uh, where you cannot uh, put the, leave the car uh, or stop the rental or start the rental in these zones. So, um, so yeah, that's that. And essentially when you uh, move around the map, uh, you can see these uh, little X's. So these are the cars. Currently there's of course only <laughs> one car available. Um, so what we, we can do now is uh, reserve that car. So uh, when you tap on the car, it shows you the um, model of the car, the license plate, uh, the price per minute, uh, what color the car is, how much battery it has left, and uh, you know how, how long it would take to uh, walk to that car. Um, also what you can select in the app is like whether you want to go with a personal account or a business account. Uh, so depending if you have a business account set up, then uh, you can use that. And uh, once you click on prices and booking, then uh, we show you here actually like also the minute price, the one hour price, one day price, one month price, etc. As well as, uh, you know, the range of the car and the uh, acceleration. So essentially the way the pricing works is that uh, when you start driving, uh, initially you get, uh, get charged by one minute. And uh, once you get to around 45 minutes, it essentially becomes uh, cheaper uh, to switch to an hourly plan. So the app does that automatically. And then you stay on the hourly plan until it becomes cheaper to uh, switch to the daily plan, etc., etc. So essentially, whenever you reach the uh, the limit of the previous plan, uh, or you hit the kind of the next price range, then the app rolls over automatically. So it kind of saves uh, cost for you. So uh, if you want to like basically reserve this car now, uh, you simply click uh, next, and uh, you can see that the timer starts here. Uh, it uh, you have 15 minutes of uh, free reservation, which is basically the time uh, which you can take to uh, get to the car and uh, you know start your rent. When you're at the, at the car, uh, the only thing you need to do to unlock the car and start your rental is uh, tap this button here, start rental, and uh, you see the car opens up, uh, the mirrors unfold and uh, the car is open and you can basically start driving so um, you get in the car and uh, if you want to start driving uh, all you need to do is uh, press the brake and pull down this gear lever here all the way down and you can see here uh, which gear you're in like park reverse neutral and drive so now we're in drive and we can essentially start driving and to go into reverse uh, you pull the lever all the way up and go back and to park the car, uh, you just tap park and that's it. So uh, the car doesn't need to be like separately turned on or turned off or anything like that. And uh, if you want to stop the rental, then you tap stop. However, if you, for example, want to park, then uh, let's say you want to go to a store or something and you don't want to end your rental, the door and put the car in park. So yeah, you have to ensure essentially that uh, all of the uh, doors and windows and everything is locked. Uh, or closed before you put the car in park and now you can see that uh, the car is closed but the rental is still ongoing and uh, now the car switches to a minute based pricing so 0 0.15 uh, euros per minute and uh, that's basically it so to unlock the car you just tap drive or the D uh, letter here and uh, the car unlocks and uh, to finish the rental all you do is uh, you just tap on uh, stop rental and uh, confirm that yes and rental and that's it and then uh, you get the data on your uh, on your trip so yeah if you want to charge the car um, basically all you need to do is uh, in this glove compartment sorry not glove but central compartment here we have a charging card uh, and you can use that to charge the car for free uh, the charging price is in, uh, included in the rental um, and it works with uh, Electro, Meleport and e Mobi chargers which are like located all over Latvia um, Eleport also in Estonia uh, as well. So um, we recommend the like, Plug Share app. There's a link for that actually in the uh, mobile app as well. So uh, basically, to use that app, uh, use that card. Uh, let's get out of the car. I will show you. All right. So I'll show you now how to uh, charge the vehicle. Uh, first, you uh, unlock the uh, charge port of the car. So you simply tap it here, and it opens. And then you uh, take the charging cable, and uh, you plug it in the car. So once you've done that, usually what you see uh, on the charging stations is this NFC reader. 
Um, and uh, they're usually like marked uh, in a certain way. So all you need to do is basically tap the charging card on the NFC reader and uh, follow the instructions on the screen. In this case, uh, charging has started. And uh, yeah, you can follow the uh, progress of charging on the center screen of the car. So uh, once you're done charging, uh, in order to uh, get the cable out of the car, what you need to do is tap on stop charging here in the uh, charging menu, and then also tap on the unlock charge port, and that releases the cable. So you can simply plug it out of the car, put it back in the charging station, and uh, don't forget to put the uh, charging card back in the center compartment here for the next user or for your next charge. And that's basically it. You can continue driving.